Welcome back to House Advisors, a uh, place for the information from experts. Uh, today we have with us uh, a very special guest uh, who's doing enormously well in the field of home development, and he's gonna depart with us a uh, wealth of information about uh, home building uh, and construction, and we're gonna have uh, a really great time uh, engaging with him and asking with him some really uh, a broad area of questions that you might want to stay tuned for because this information you cannot really find in the books because as I previously mentioned, uh, we can Google something on Google and that is fine, there's no, no problem with that. But what is the problem always is that you have lots of information but no contextual experience in there, right? So today we're gonna bring you both the information with experiential context. I mean, somebody who has done this job many, many times over and their company is uh, steadfast in delivering quality home development from ground up, from A to Z. So we are very pleased to introduce to you Zafar Rana from Mayfair Homes. Zafar, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank it's a great much. pleasure to have you, and thank you for accepting our invitation. No problem. Our job and our uh, strive is to bring experts such as yourself to make the sh uh, show informative and quality-wise really high for our uh, viewers so that they can get some good information. So we welcome you and thank you so much. We're gonna start with this simple question. Give us a bit of background about your, uh, yourself and, and what's your story? Yeah, so for me actually, uh, there's a very slight difference in between the success and the give up. So I will uh, always work with my clients mm -hmm. and uh, I will try to uh, give them the impression that I'm uh, always there. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, the key thing in my life, or uh, you can say in my business, uh, that the people trust on me. We want to so, start with Zephyr. We want to know more about Zephyr. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Before we go so, to the technical aspects, yeah. yeah because so, it's important. So I have, uh, uh, I have a background of uh, construction management. Okay. And uh, I did my construction management from uh, Centennial, and uh, also I did a uh, uh, small business from the Rotman okay. uh, School of Management. Right. And uh, then I joined uh, a builder mm -hmm. and got, uh, got some experience yeah. uh, from there about the construction. And then I started my own company. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> from last uh, 10 years, I'm building the custom home, and uh, <clears throat> now I'm also doing the uh, land development. So, so you, do, you, you do custom building and land development. Yes. That's amazing. That's what I'm doing. There, there's a, a small differentiation I, I want to highlight that. Uh, custom building versus the normal development that you get from the builders. If you can differentiate that for us, I'd appreciate that. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, there's uh, two things actually. The, the actual construction, we say in the construction, I mean it's a uh, uh, build. Mm -hmm. So, but the land development is the part of the design. Okay. Or you can say uh, before con starting the construction, anything, I mean, from the raw land mm -hmm. uh, to convert into the buildable land, mm -hmm. that's the land development. Okay, so that's so, a whole different ball game. Yeah, that's a whole different ball game, and it's a whole different. It's usually the developer develop the land mm -hmm. and make the lots to, for the builder to mm -hmm. build the homes okay. there. And uh, you will see, you always see that. I mean, uh, in the subdivisions, mm -hmm. in the high rise, mm -hmm. in uh, the uh, infill homes. So mm -hmm. that's the difference between that's that. a land development. So that yes. you get the land prepared for the developer or uh, builder to come and build the land. Uh, what are the five steps, if I could summarize them, uh, that will constitute that development uh, uh, journey from from the when you acquire the land till it's ready for uh, to break the ground? Yeah. So. Uh, the first thing is that you have to check uh, what the zoning is there. Okay. So, and the usually we have the green belt here, you know that. Yeah. So, and the usually we have uh, the agriculture zoning. Yeah. So we uh, check the zoning. Yeah. Check with the city and the, what's the, in the official plan that right. zoning is. Yeah. And then the, let's say if we have agriculture zoning and we want to make it into the residential zoning, right. so we put an application to the city yeah. uh, for, the, it's called a zoning amendment application. Okay. So, and for that, we have to prepare a 
full package mm -hmm. that start from the survey and there is the environmental report the, mm -hmm. the soil testing and the geo uh, technical and uh, then even the traffic impact study mm -hmm. and uh, the noise studies. Uh, mm -hmm. So these are the things uh, we have to, uh, uh, I mean, Provide, submit with yeah. the package mm -hmm. to the city. And then uh, the city uh, change that land mm -hmm. if it's uh, possible to, from the agriculture or any zoning, I mean, from even from the industrial okay. or uh, commercial, to the residential, okay. so that's the first step. So, and then after, the next step mm -hmm. is, a, it's a, I mean, a draft plan is also yeah. the part of that one. Okay. So then uh, the main step will come, it's called the uh, permit drawings. Okay. So for that, again, we have to work with the architect and the engineers, mm -hmm. structural engineer, mm -hmm. mechanical engineers, mm -hmm. and make a package mm -hmm. and submit again to the city. Again. And okay. again and uh, get the actual building approval. Okay. So that's, these are the two th main things, but it's a, it's a time consuming time step. Time consuming. Okay. So very time consuming and usually it's take, I mean, because the cities are always, I mean, they have a lot of departments yes. behind there. Yeah. And uh, so it's take uh, approximately 18 months to two years to do to, that. Okay, so so a long, pro long run process yeah. with lots of bureauc bureaucratic steps and also lots of technical steps and hurdles to go over and, and overcome before the land is ready for the shovel. For Correct? The shovel. Okay. Yeah. And now that, that, so all of that, let's say if I have a land, you could do that for me. Let's say I, I've got a, like an infill land or maybe a, for, infill basically means that there's a, homes already around. I'm putting one in between them. That's an old Bangalore or something. I want to take it out and build another one. So you could do that as well. You could walk me through all those steps in your, with your company. To achieve that objective, yeah, the, we do the both. I mean, yeah. even the infill, infill means that uh, where we have already the facilities, all yeah. the services are available, right. and uh, or you can say, I mean, you already have the home there, mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. and you want to tear down and uh, build the new home. Mm -hmm. oh. So that we can do, and uh, we can also build uh, on the raw land. On the raw so, land, yeah. What is the raw land? Raw land means that uh, to. Uh, if you have any piece of land in any part of the, the uh, province, province or, uh, so we, uh, you come to us and you tell us this is the land we have mm -hmm. and just check it out. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we can build the one home or the two home mm -hmm. or even the subdivision mm -hmm. there, okay. we can help you. So that is, a, that is a great asset to have. Yeah. My friends, if you have a team like that that's working with you, I mean, that's, um, I cannot put a price on that because there is so much involved in terms of the bureaucratic hurdle you got to go through, all the permits, all the technical knowledge, and everything else that goes before we can actually uh, start building. That is, that, that is great to have, Stafford, and, and I'm excited yeah. to have you because um, folks looking at, watching at home, maybe they're interested in learning more, or maybe they're interested about uh, you know, starting a project uh, and, and they're not sure where to begin. So, so thank you for that information. Now the next step is once uh, you got the permit and all that. Uh, uh, so then you start the, the, the building process. Now uh, I'm assuming that uh, you uh, will subcontract it to somebody or you will be overseeing the project yourself as a custom home builder. Yeah, that's uh, also, I mean, there are different ways to do that. Okay. So the usually the most popular uh, uh, the building uh, processes you can say the delivery method, mm -hmm. it's called the design build. Okay. So the design build in uh, that step, uh, we design the pro project and then build it. Okay. But there is also other way to do that. Okay. Like a construction management. Construction okay. management mean that uh, uh, usually the client hire the, some consultant, mm -hmm. uh, like the architect and ask them to watch my builder. Watch the, okay. Yeah, and make sure that uh, everything is going right. Okay. And the builder, then the builder build, and the mm -hmm. we, we, we work as a builder in that one. Okay. It's called the construction management. Okay. And there is one more, uh, there are a couple more, uh, but the most, uh, well, one most other popular, popular is the, it's called the turnkey. Turn so th in the turnkey, we also w do everything, but it's depending on the client. Okay. Who, uh, they want to do mm -hmm. and uh, what's their, uh, uh, how much he want to involve mm -hmm. himself, mm -hmm. uh, himself in the project. Mm -hmm. So these are the things uh, 
usually we decide before mm -hmm. to start the construction. Okay. Yeah. Which brings me to the next point, where basically in terms of, um, so when I start a project, obviously there's legality involved, there's yeah. technical aspect, there's the permit aspect, and there's also the financing aspect of it. Yeah. So let's say if somebody comes to you today and say, uh, uh, I have a piece of land that I like to develop, do they have to get the financing and what is the steps or the pre-qualifying steps before you will uh, accept their application as a client? Yeah, we help uh, our client in financing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have uh, a list of lenders mm -hmm. and uh, who are ready to, give, mm -hmm. uh, to finance in our project mm -hmm. because they know us and uh, they know that uh, we will build a, there's a less risk mm -hmm. to work with us. Okay. So they, uh, the help of our clients. Mm -hmm. So uh, and the, so if the if any of the clients, because the, this is the major worry right. uh, usually the client has, that uh, from where the money will come. Right. So yeah, we we help our clients to get. So there are basically a blueprint, a flow chart of a step by step. What are the steps they have to take, and uh, how to uh, manage each step, be it the legality of it, the legal part of it, the financing part of it the permit part of it, and then the construction part of it, and then managing the construction, and uh, basically the design, which comes with the, with the permit. And also, if I'm not mistaken, you guys will have a quality control. Am I yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I will add something here too. Uh, because you know that uh, when we build the home, right. uh, there, is a, there is a standard here. Okay. What we do, we follow the... Uh, Zoning bylaws, okay, and the uh, interior building code, okay, and uh, the engineering practices in the interior. Okay, so these are the three things we usually follow. Right, and uh, uh, there are two regulatory body body working on uh, with us. I mean, to make sure that everything is going good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So one is uh, the city because okay. the city issued the permit, right. and they have their uh, periodical. Uh, uh, inspections. Okay. So they comes and see the sites and they get it. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, approved, mm -hmm. and uh, then uh, they allow us to go to the next step. Okay. So yeah, this is a thing, and then uh, there's a Terrian involved there. So okay. which uh, also has uh, three inspections. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the constructions. So they come and they see. I mean, mm -hmm. if there's some deficiency or not according to their standard, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they ask us to fix that thing. Mm -hmm. So we will do that. Okay. So, and uh, one more thing. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, as far as you ask, I mean, uh, about the risk and the uh, the standard. So the Ministry of Labor. Okay. We registered yeah. our uh, sites with the Ministry of Labor, and they make sure that uh, there is no uh, illegal work is going on okay. there. Okay. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Because that is basically making it. Uh, uh, any risk is, is minimized. Minimum. Now, uh, every project has a risk associated with it, and uh, because uh, I always think of a building as a living, breathing thing, and once you build it, right, uh, it's going to have issues. So uh, how can we um, minimize the risk? Do you have the warranties, and if you warranty, what ways do you warranty the homes you build? And uh, if you can give us some information about that. Yeah, the... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, cl client always asks this mm -hmm. question from us, and the warranty we 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 are the registered builder. Okay. So we also the member of the builder association here okay. in, uh, in Toronto, and uh, the the risk the risk is minimum to work with the registered builder because okay. the the Tarian warranty is behind there, okay. and that's the seven year warranty. Okay. And uh, then we also have the liability insurance. Okay. So then the, if something has happened there, it's covered. Okay. And uh, all of our trade, they also registered with the WSIB. Okay. So and the, if there is some problem is there, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, somebody hurt himself or some mm -hmm. incident happened. It's covered. So it's covered. That is great because I want to highlight the, the Terrion warranty okay. because uh, most builders, they, they provide that Terrion warranty. And if you can explain or educate us about exactly what it covers and, um, and why I should have a peace of mind when I'm working with a builder uh, such as yourself and when I'm working with just a general contractor, uh, what are the risks, if you can highlight, and how it can be mitigated with Terrian warranty? Yeah, the Terrian warranty basically is uh, 
the third party warranty mm -hmm. is working uh, is to protect the mm -hmm. client. Mm -hmm. So it uh, consists of uh, the three different warranties. One is the uh, one year warranty, which mm -hmm. is uh, which cover all the uh, uh, you, the part I mean, uh, uh, which you can see. This can like, on the home. Yeah. Okay. So that's the one year warranty. And uh, what's behind the walls, mm -hmm. uh, like the roughing, or you can say the plumbing, mm -hmm. electrical, uh, the HVAC. Mm -hmm. So these type of things, uh, the Terrian cover the, up to the two years. Up to two years, okay. And also the roofing and the shingle, mm -hmm. these things. Mm -hmm. And then there is a seven year warranty, which is a. Uh, uh, for the structural part of the house. Mm -hmm. That's cover the framing and the foaming, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. the basement walls and these The insulation? The, or, yeah, or, or. insulation is, uh, yeah, insulation is also covered for the two years. Two years, yeah. okay. And how about the, uh, so the roof is also, the roof? The roof is also roof, covered. Okay. The, the trusses is covered for seven years. Seven years, okay. And, uh, but the shingle is covered for the two years, but two years. the builder usually, uh, use the at least 25 year, uh, 25 year uh, okay. guarantee for the Okay. So now when I'm uh, thinking uh, as we are speaking, uh, there are so many moving parts and pieces like a puzzle. Yeah. Right? That if a person is not uh, knowledgeable, they're going to get lost in the shuffle basically in terms of where do I begin? So yeah. it's important to work with somebody that is registered and that means something because that means you're mitigating the risk you're working with a, a professional network of uh, contractors, and uh, you're basically uh, um, ex making the project on time and on budget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of project management or planning, uh, if you can give us, let's say, an example of a project that, um, uh, how long it takes, let's say, from a, an infill, an infill land, how long it takes from the point? I know it's, it's depending on many times on, on building permit, but on average, how long it takes if somebody's working with you from the inception to completion? Okay, yeah, very good question. So before to give the, you the answer of the question, uh, uh, let me tell you that mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the, the first step, the homeowner or the client, they have to do, they have to hire the builder. Okay. So to involve uh, in uh, uh, right from the first day. If mm -hmm. they will involve us from the first day, then their uh, process is smooth and the builder input is also there. Mm -hmm. So, and the, the uh, as I divide, I mean, uh, the uh, construction process mm -hmm. in the two phases. Mm -hmm. So one is called the build phase and then the, mm -hmm. the sorry, I mean, the design phase and the build phase. Right. So the design phase, basically it start from the survey. Mm -hmm. So the first thing the client need is the survey. Mm -hmm. And then they have to involve uh, with the help of a builder, mm -hmm. the architect. Mm -hmm. So and with the architect, some engineer part is also mm -hmm. I mean, it has to be done. And then uh, all those things has to submit to the city okay. to get it approved. And uh, in that uh, uh, from uh, when you submit the uh, package to the city, there is a two two way. I mean, a two two timelines there too. Mm -hmm. So one is uh, smoothly. If you will uh, get it passed, there is a two examiner. Mm -hmm. uh, the city uh, look that uh, drawings. One is the mm -hmm. zoning examiner, and other one is the code examiner. Mm -hmm. And if they will have approved it, then uh, you were ready for that uh, build mm -hmm. phase. So usually, that uh, phase take approximately four months. Four months. So and then after. The design phase, but in this one, I mean, a build phase. Uh, sorry, mm -hmm. design phase. Uh, there is one more step. Sometimes the people want to build a bigger house. Mm -hmm. The 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 uh, I S mean setbacks and all that. Setbacks and yeah. the height restriction. They want to exceed from mm -hmm. the limit. Mm -hmm. So in that case, the committee of adjustment also mm -hmm. you get you need to approve from the committee of adjustment. So in that case, uh, you have to estimate. <laughs> approximately six to nine months. Six to nine months, okay. So for all that uh, uh, design process. Mm -hmm. And then the construction, actual construction will start, I mean, it's ready to shovel, yeah. uh, to put shovel there. So that phase is uh, approximately more or less uh, one year. One year, okay. 
Yeah. So some big custom home, uh, it's uh, also exceed from the one year. Some small homes, it's uh, even we can finish in nine months. Nine months. So, okay. but I will say the safely, uh, one year is a good time. One year. Okay. So, uh, so on average, you're probably looking at about ten months of uh, processing time with the city, yeah. and another maybe one year for construction. So about two years to budget for. Yeah, it's a uh, safely, I mean, uh, two, not the two year, two years uh, yeah. too much. Yeah. Uh, but you can say the uh, year and a half are uh, mm -hmm. approximately 18, 18 to 21 months. 21 months, okay. Uh, my dear friends, we've got a, a great um, uh, person here in terms of knowledge, information, and uh, experience uh, that is talking to us about how we can build a property from ground up and different uh, phases and different uh, systems and different uh, hurdles you have to overcome before you can actually get the key and move in. Uh, sometimes we look at it and it's just like, okay, yeah, when is my closing day and when can I move in, right? <laughs> but there's many things before that that's happening. So we're going to have this interesting conversation after the break. Uh, stay with us because we're going to have some uh, really, really tangible information that you could use uh, in, your, uh, in your construction projects. And uh, some of the questions that we'll be asking maybe are the questions that you already have in your mind, and we might be answering it after the break. Thank you. Dear friends, welcome back to House Advisors, a program whereby we are uh, providing a platform to connect all your businesses uh, through our platform, www.houseadvisor.c, and we're glad to have you back. And today we have with ourselves uh, um, a very great and uh, very talented and very experienced uh, home builder. Uh, uh, Mayfair Homes is where you want to go if you have any projects and you can call them up and basically uh, get all your ducks in a row before you start any project and do not start a project unless and until you have spoken to them to make sure that you're taking the right first step because in building and construction they say the foundation is everything so everything is over the foundation yeah. yeah so so if they have the right foundation then the building is going to be strong that, that, that is the old saying. I think it it's, uh, uh, holds true still, right? To have to have the right foundation. Yeah, for sure. I yeah. mean, the foundation <laughs> is the base. It's so, base. yeah, if you have the right foundation, yeah. then, uh, yeah. then you can build the right home there. So, uh, again, I want to use an analogy, which is like the foundation, and then you've got the blueprint. So, uh, not only for building, but also for uh, going from A to Z in terms of your project management. You're in the right place, and uh, you're at the right time to get the um, uh, amazing in-depth information about the building process, which I think is a very fascinating uh, concept. And uh, we are glad to have you. We'll come back. And uh, I want to talk to you about um, the design process, like, I mean, the, the inventory. The, because when you look around right now, I see a, a little bit of change in the landscape in terms of how the homes are looking now. Uh, can you please give us some information about the inventory types of modern inventory that's available and what is prevalent nowadays in the marketplace? Yeah, <clears throat> so uh, there are different type of houses, I mm -hmm. mean, in the market. So most of the time, it's called the transactional homes. Transactional homes, okay. Yeah, so transactional home is uh, more toward the traditionals okay. and uh, what the market demand is. And the Ontario, or you can say the Toronto, is a little bit different from mm -hmm. the rest of the North America. Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, uh, the, the, there is a three main thing we usually consider in the home. One is the facade, mm -hmm. and the facade the, is uh, basically the exterior look of the house. Right. So, which is more important, and then the kitchen and the master bedroom. Yeah. yeah. So, but the facade facade the, uh, give you the look what type of house it is. Mm -hmm. So usually, the you can say ninety to ninety percent people uh, they want the transactional home, mm -hmm. or you can say the normal home, which is mm -hmm. a very simple. Mm -hmm. But some people, they want different type of home, mm -hmm. like a modern home, contemporary mm -hmm. homes, and uh, even the Victorian style mm -hmm. home, or you can say uh, some uh, energy saving home, or energy uh, saving. The, okay. have different, different type of designs. Mm -hmm. So, the, but the, most of the people, mm -hmm. they concentrate about the uh, the transactional home, okay. and which is more safe mm -hmm. to protect your equity also. Oh, okay. yeah. So that is uh, um, more in demand or? More in demand. More in demand. Uh, thank you for that. Now, what is the difference between an inventory home you buy from a builder and a, and a custom-built home? Yeah, so 
uh, when you buy from the builder, it's already have the specs. Okay. So it's uh, we we in our technical language we say it's a cookie cookie cutter home. Cookie cutter home. <laughs> yeah. So the. Uh, maximize the space mm -hmm. in the minimum square footage. Mm -hmm. So this is the thing. But in the custom home, uh, it's uh, all about you. Mm -hmm. What is your wish list and what is your specification? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, let's say, I will give you an example. I mean, uh, if you are looking for the 10 feet ceiling on the ground floor, mm -hmm. if you're looking for the eight feet and nine feet ceiling on the uh, second floor, you want uh, the open to above in, the, uh, in your foyer, Mm -hmm. And then uh, you need the crown molding, you need mm -hmm. the vent scarting, mm -hmm. you need uh, the the best of the best hardware, you gourmet kitchen, mm -hmm. and the I mean uh, luxury or the high end mm -hmm. uh, washrooms. So these all things mm -hmm. you can add in your home, and that's mm -hmm. that's why it's called the mm -hmm. custom home. Okay. So this is the main difference. Yeah. Of course, there's going to be a price differential, but by what factor? Let's say if I go to a builder, they 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 charge me like uh, 150 dollars for a pot light, for example. <laughs> right, so yeah. uh, how does the, the, the different uh, the pricing uh, plays? Uh, right now, it's a very competitive market, mm -hmm. so it's not a much difference uh, when if you will make the decision before start the home. Okay, uh, but if you let's say if you are going to make a decision in between, I mean, uh, uh, you say okay, I'm going to add the extra part like there are. Uh, I'm going to add. Uh, a vanity. Vanity there. I, I have to do this thing and that thing. Mm -hmm. That costs you more for, mm -hmm. because it's a, these are these things called the change order okay. or the change directive. So, but if you have already decided before to start the mm -hmm. home, so all those things will be covered mm -hmm. in the, uh, I mean, the mm -hmm. price, mm -hmm. and uh, more or less. It's a, you can say the twenty percent more than the production mm -hmm. home, mm -hmm. uh, the custom home is. Right. So, so, so you you mentioned that also that you do a project in Allison, Ontario. Yeah, that's uh, over the land development project. Can you explain to us about that and yeah, because uh, that seems to be really uh, engaged, long in the, uh, uh, I mean, long process to it. I, I, first of all, I want to congratulate you on that. But thank uh, you very much. But uh, I, I'm interested to find out what exactly, how long it took, and if you can. Uh, Inform us about that. Yeah, that project is in the design phase right okay. now. Right now, we we are building a uh, approximately 250 homes there. 250 homes. Yeah. So and uh, also some of the commercial uh, mm, uh, condo is also the part mm -hmm. of that project. It's a one medium rise is there. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, uh, we have a piece of land. It's like a 23 acre. 23 so, acre land. Yeah, okay. and uh, which has the urban commercial zoning. Urban so, commercial. Uh, best of the both worlds. You've got both the uh, yeah. urban and the commercial. Okay. Yeah. So in that we can uh, uh, we can build a mixed use uh, mm -hmm. construction. I mean, a residential plus the commercial. Residential. Okay. So and it's uh, on the their main highway. It's highway 89. If you're okay. going toward the Barry side. Yeah. And uh, at the Highway 89, the Alliston is the, mm -hmm. the very famous town. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so, and uh, the we are at the design phase. Okay. So, which means what? Which means that you have passed the uh, the the permit for the land. No, it's uh, that's the application we uh, have okay. submitted All right, okay. to the city, and uh, as as soon as it's uh, they will approve it. Mm -hmm. So we will start the construction there. Okay. We will start the booking at there too. Okay. Yeah. So that's basically the city is saying to you, okay, we are looking at your uh, proposed project, and uh, these are some of the uh, conditions that they may set. For example, for the green space for the schools, you have to give up some land for that too. Is that am I right in saying that? Yeah. So there are number of things. Yeah. <laughs> there are <laughs> number of things, but their more concentration is about uh, uh, GF. A GF. I mean the density. Okay. So how much the land you have, mm -hmm. how much you are going to build there, what mm -hmm. the zoning will mm -hmm. go, what are the, from where the services will come, mm -hmm. uh, let's say, I mean, uh, uh, from where the water will come, where the sewer mm -hmm. will go, mm -hmm. where the storm water will go, mm -hmm. and uh, from where the traffic will come. Yeah. So in the, if uh, it's a safe for the residential purpose, mm -hmm. so these are the things usually okay. they consider. Yeah, other things are also mm -hmm. the yeah. part of the yeah. game. So yeah. that, that takes a long time to... Yeah. To, to get it ready. Uh, that's an exciting project because 250 homes, it almost like creates a different microeconomic unit within that community, which you could say that 
adds value to the community, uh, and, and it, there's going to be ripple effect from every home you build there. I mean, uh, uh, I want to congratulate you that, uh, on that because we at House Advisors, we are aware we want to create the network, and we appreciate every time we see a small, medium business taking such an initiative in, in, in such an era. I mean, it, it's, uh, it's quite um, an era, to, to say the least, uh, to take advantage and take, take initiative and show leadership and, and start building. I mean, uh, we're very proud of you, and congratulations on that. Uh, tell us more about this project. I mean, it's exciting. I'd like to know more. Yeah, so uh, it's a beautiful product. Mm -hmm. It has, uh, we are also adding some more components there mm -hmm. in that product because uh, uh, when uh, uh, you build the home, mm -hmm. the, the city first requirement is that the, what are the extra things you are going to do there. Mm -hmm. Let's say how much uh, affordable house uh, you will mm -hmm. produce. Mm -hmm. So because it's, uh, it's their mandate. Affordability, part of their, yeah. okay. So we we add, we will add that component. Okay. We will, uh, and they are looking for the dog walk because we have a lot of land there. Mm -hmm. So we are additionally going to do the dog dog walk. What is that? that? Uh, it's mean that uh, uh, in that area we have a big uh, golf course mm -hmm. behind us. It's a condominium uh, mm -hmm. uh, project, but the, the people I think it's uh, more than uh, uh, six seven hundred home, mm -hmm. but they don't have. Uh, uh, any space to, for uh, uh, for their uh, uh, pets. Okay. So I mean, so we we are going to make a track there. Okay. So at least the people can go there and uh, uh, walk with their entertainment, uh, enjoy, yeah. and luxury. Okay. And uh, so this is one thing. And then uh, we are going to add a component of uh, uh, the green roof there. Mm -hmm. So over a, a high rise. Uh, not the high rise. I mean, the medium mm -hmm. rise. It has the green roof, and uh, which is environmentally, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it saves some of the energies the energy of the saving, city. Okay. So that's uh, we are going to. It's mm -hmm. a, uh, the landscaping is uh, we making. I mean, a beautiful mm -hmm. landscaping mm -hmm. there. Yeah. So also, uh, it's uh, uh, we are going to uh, make. Uh, uh, because the project also has some commercial units. Mm -hmm. So with the commercial units, we have uh, uh, in the center of the project, we have some sitting uh, spaces. Like, okay. uh, I mean, uh, it's the... Uh, Green space like a park? Uh, not the park. It's, uh, 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 it's a different concept. I mean, uh, if you will uh, go to the Lawrence and uh, uh, Don Mill. Okay. So you see that the southwest corner we are replicating that same okay, same so, style. So, so like, okay, so, okay, so, that, so that's kind of like a shops, and basically a, a place to hang out for the families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe some monuments and some waterfalls, stuff like that. Yeah, attractions. Yeah, okay. just like that. That's beautiful. Uh, yeah, amazing. Because the the in Alliston, uh, it's a. Uh, uh, it's, you can say that it looks like a retirement uh, mm -hmm. city. Mm -hmm. The people want to live there mm -hmm. uh, because uh, after their retirement, when mm -hmm. they're downsizing, right. or you can say, and also the, uh, the Honda assembly plant, plant mm -hmm. is there. So the worker also live there. Okay. So these are the two different communities that are more concentrated. So a mixed demographic and also mixed yeah. economy. So that will uh, perfectly, because I mean, uh, the mayor and the city also mm -hmm. ask us to produce such, such like a uh, project, mm -hmm. so it's more attractive yeah. for you and even for the city. It's inclusive and everybody's involved. Exactly. And, exactly. and this, this location is very strategic because it's not too far from Toronto. And do they have like a, a transit service there now, I think? Yeah, the city, actually, the interior, they are, uh, 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 the go train, is another go train, the go bus is yeah. going there okay. in the next two years. Yeah. And uh, we have the railway track there. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes uh, uh, up to the, uh, uh, the Honda mm -hmm. assembly plant. And then uh, we have the highway there, okay. so Highway 89. Mm -hmm. So it's very convenient. Mm -hmm very convenient for the clients. And uh, the good thing about uh, it ha also has a history. The town also has oh, a history yeah. because you know that the uh, uh, insulin is a Canadian product. Insulin, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, I mean. That's uh, the so town where they discovered yeah, it? Yeah. It, it was, the scientist wow. was uh, belonged to that city, okay. the Alliston. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. So the, that's the 
good thing about to know, I mean, for the people uh, about the Alastan. Wow. Yeah. It seems like a great project. It seems like a very modern project. And uh, can you talk to us about some of the new green technologies that are being used in terms of homes, uh, energy savings? And, uh, and I heard that there are some initiatives or some incentives that the builders uh, and homeowners uh, can tap into when they're uh, retrofitting their homes or when they're getting a green built home, like the one you were mentioning. Am, yeah. I, am I right in saying that in that assessment? <laughs> yeah. uh, please educate us because I'm a little misinformed about that. Yeah, we uh, here in Ontario, we have, uh, the government has also the uh, mandate. I mean, not the Ontario, the government of Canada. Mm -hmm. So it's called the Net Zero Energy Program. Okay. So the, what the Net Zero Energy Program is that uh, in uh, 2030, mm -hmm. the government wants that the every house will produce their uh, its own energy. Okay. So for that, uh, they are working and even uh, mm -hmm. they have the pilot projects. Mm -hmm. So this is the part of the, actually the, uh, you can say the environmentally safe mm. houses. So we are also working on that one. And uh, the main things uh, uh, involved in uh, the, uh, you can say the environmentally uh, friendly, or friendly or, uh, home is the, the solar energy mm -hmm. and then uh, to produce the solar energy mm -hmm. by the house mm -hmm. and then the wind energy mm -hmm. and then use the uh, gadgets and appliances uh, mm -hmm. which uh, uh, consume less energy. Less energy. Okay. So these, this is the basic concept. Okay. So, but there are a lot of things. I mean, mm -hmm. even the, the Tesla started some of the mm -hmm. projects. Okay. So even uh, a lot of different companies, I mean, they are working on this. So project. a lot of innovation, a lot of modern tech that's coming into the home space whereby exactly. you can save energy and also uh, the concept of net zero. Yeah. And the solar panels will give you most of the energy. And in terms of cost, uh, am I going to be saving costs on that? Or as yeah, it's eventually. Yeah, eventually. Eventually, I mean, it's... Uh, it's because the fund loan. Yeah, we, we are also working with the LG. LG, okay. So, and it's... But initially, you are spending some extra money. Okay. But uh, eventually, you will save a lot of money. So this energy uh, saving technology is incorporated into your project that's upcoming in, in Allison or part of it? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, uh, it will come. Mm -hmm. And I will give you one more. Uh, uh, what their uh, statement is, the, the, uh, the government of Canada about the net zero energy, that the after 2030, all it's a mandatory that the, all the houses has to... Retrofit? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, produce their own energy. Okay. And in, in 2050, they will also convert all the existing houses mm -hmm. into the zero net energy zero houses. Net. Okay. So that's that's very important thing. I mean, in the future, that mm -hmm. all the houses and the insulation. I mean, it's a, right now we have the program. It's called the R2000 program. Okay. So R2000 program. It's a about the energy saving and uh, how the insulation will go mm -hmm. and how you will protect uh, your house from. Uh, uh, it's energy all about loss. The, yeah. Energy. It's called the uh, building envelope. Okay. So how you will develop the building envelope? So, uh, so in the long run, as a as a homeowner, as a as a person who is looking after uh, home finances, for example, uh, will my energy bill go higher or lower overall? For sure, it's lower. 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 Yeah. So it's a good thing. That's yeah, a very good, good thing. thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, well, uh, about the Allison project, uh, uh, in your estimation, when will it be? ready for people to view or can they actually view something online right now in terms of rendering in terms of any uh, uh, we are expecting uh, artwork? from the nine month to one year nine months one year yeah so uh, uh, Zafar I, I really appreciate you coming over uh, I think you, you gave us a wealth of information about home buildership and different stages of it and all the bureaucratic hurdles and all the uh, design and all the technical aspect and everything else in between, between the uh, legality of it and financing, I think is a wealth of information. We like to have you on uh, House Advisors, and we'd like to have you again here. Uh, I think uh, our viewers will enjoy uh, this informative uh, uh, sessions because um, I didn't know about most of the stuff, about the energy savings and how it's going to impact and how, when it's going to be rolled out. Uh, I, I mean, this is House Advisors, guys. Uh, we bring you the experts, 
and they uh, shared with you the, their expertise, their contextual experience, that I think it's invaluable, and you cannot find it anywhere else. So again, we'd like to thank you for coming, and we'd like to invite you over again to uh, uh, partake in these uh, uh, interviews so that uh, folks at home can get uh, the expert information from the expert. And if they're, I just want to uh, wrap up before we wrap up, if they want to reach out to you, uh, or to your company, uh, how can they do that? And how, they, how can they get connected? Are you on our Facebook, YouTube? Yeah, we have the website, Mayfair website? Homes. Mm -hmm. So, so Mayfair Homes, they can go and uh, they can uh, uh, send us the email. Okay. Even, I mean, they can contact on the phone. Okay, so, so, so this is the good thing about because when you look, when you work with, a, with, a, with most uh, companies nowadays, you, you can't get this personal relationship. I think it's very important when you're dealing with a project uh, of that caliber to have a person that is actually spending the time with you and, uh, and, and, and taking your questions and, and answering to you directly. I mean, this is, this, is, this is part of what you mentioned in the beginning, that you take customer one at a time and you, and you, and you look after them really, really well and, and on a personal level. I appreciate that and thank you so much for coming on and we'd like to invite you over again and anytime reach out to us and uh, join the house advisors and see what we can do because your network is actually uh, uh, is important because that's what we do, we create a network and as a builder developer you also have a network of uh, uh, student, yeah, all, the uh, uh, all the trades that are reliable and that's what we do at house advisors, we basically uh, bring in people of quality caliber such as yourself so that the public can get the information, uh, save time, save money and save energy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zafar. Appreciate Thank that. You. Looking Thank forward to more new project. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you so you much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And, uh, and uh, this was the show for today, guys. Thank you. And uh, we will uh, be visiting you next, next week, same time, same place. And we will have uh, for you another expert. And thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you very much.